All right, Turk, we're weekend's done. We're having a uh, relaxing moment here in your trailer, still racing outside, but I, I got to say, I had an amazing weekend. But first, let's. how was your weekend? Because you, you've had some good success this weekend. Yeah, I had a really good weekend this weekend. Uh, yesterday in qualifying, I was uh, third in my uh, 440 fan class out of 12 sleds. Mm -hmm. And I got third in the, I stepped up a class as well. I went in the 440 liquid uh, class and I got third in that. Yeah. And then uh, today, um, in the qualifiers and in the finals, I finished second in both. So quite pleased, uh, my uh, my SS ran well and uh, really happy. The track got a little bit uh, rough and started to deteriorate there. I noticed it, that, it, yeah. it made it tough for uh, for passing without getting out into the wash on the outside, but uh, really happy with the way it performed and uh, um, the power was really getting planted. I'm really happy with my new uh, Ultimax belts by, that I have by Timken there. and. Uh, really put the power to the ground and I'm really happy that they sponsored me this year so it's really great for that yeah I mean I was running an Ultimax belt too don't think I was quite putting the power down that you were but uh, but I mean what an amazing weekend I mean from a uh, competitor standpoint I mean a great turnout of competitors from from all across the snow belt there's people here from Minnesota uh, from I think was there people even here from uh, from Manitoba yeah and there was people from northern New York came I really yeah. think that if you're talking about turnout we have to mention the fact that for the bonus year cup this was the largest turnout that they've ever had it's, for racing. And even with our OSOR club here, we sold more memberships this year than we ever had all of last year. Yeah. So the way that the weather's been now with, you know, up and down, up and down, and for this to have a race here with uh, Eagle River being moved and the dates and, and uh, with Valcor next weekend, really great turnout this weekend with uh, right from the champ sleds, right down through to the 120 to the kids. Yeah. Um, I know you got some great uh, up close with the 120 with the kids stuff. and. Uh, Really happy to see them out here racing today too. I mean, I, I heard no complaints, and and spectator wise, I mean, it was it looked like the the stands. There's plenty of people all around. Everybody's having a great time, enjoying wonderful weather. I mean, what a great weekend at the racetrack. I, oh, I, it was it was for amazing. my first re weekend at a racetrack doing this ice oval thing. I mean, I don't think it could get any better. No, I, absolutely. No. Hang on, I got to say this. I can think of a whole ways to get better because I didn't have great success. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's switch focus right now. We talked about me. We talked about the venue. Let's go on. Jeff, how was your weekend this weekend on the track? It was ups and downs. I learned a couple things. You learn a lot of stuff racing. You do. I learned by the first race, by corner one, that I love it. This is amazing, and I need a faster sled. So I learned <laughs> that right away. Um, and, of course, I, I, I went one lap around and the sled died and then i had a couple of other dnfs so 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 talk to me about your progression from race to race how, oh. how you were feeling and well, how you progressed as a racer and as a mechanic and a builder as well you got into some aspects of it too ups and downs like it's it's a weekend racing i mean you get the highs and lows you get the highest of highs and the lowest of lows i mean we had some trouble with the sled need learned to that testing is what? is important if you're going to do this find time to go testing just don't jump into your first race weekend and expect good things to happen if you've never tested the sled so the troubles that you had with the sled talk to me about how the family atmosphere built into it and how you got well, repaired that was great i mean we had troubles but everybody was coming over could they lend a hand do we do you need a help like moving the sled i mean uh, Again, everybody was so friendly here, and talked to other competitors about that too. And, and everybody, yeah. it's exactly as you described that this is a, a, a weekend race family. I mean, it, it, it is that. I mean, what a great venue for me to start this process as becoming an ice oval racer. I have to say, you know, I had a, a lot of fun in the beater class. Did that, picked up a checkered there, and you did with well a win. in the beater I, class. I, I got a win in yep. the. Uh, in, in one of the heat races there, uh, my back is still paying for it. <laughs> and then I, I guess I did have success with the drifter because coming into this whole thing, I said right from the beginning, all I wanted to do was pass a checkered flag. And you did. On the last day, the last race, on full choke because the thing was popping and farting, it didn't want to run, but I'm like, you better go around this track. It was, it was slowing down every lap. But you, you didn't just I, cross a checkered flag. Tell, oh, me, tell, me, little, tell me how you cross the checker I needed flag. a little little foot action there to, to You had some foot through. action, and there was yeah, a lot of comments was... about that after. <laughs> I know people come up there and asking about, does that make it faster when you're going out with the Flintstone it, kick trying to get it yeah, going? No, I just wanted to get across the line because it was sort of embarrassing going that fast, uh, that, that slow. Yes, it was embarrassing going that fast because just, it was that slow. Just like your car racing, how when you started out with that and you wanted to get better, you got the fire lit today oh, yeah. for oval ice racing because yeah. you knew yourself as soon as you did it, your first thoughts were, 
I want to go faster. I want to do it again. Yeah. I, I want to do it again. Uh, right now, I think Cochrane is uh, is sort of the next race on the OSR schedule. OSR we've schedule. Got, we've got two at Spectacle Lake before that. Yeah. And then Cochrane's the last one of the year. Yeah. So I, I, I know I can't do the two in Spectacle, but the Cochrane one might be able to happen. And I think if you're watching this at home, uh, Cochrane is right around the corner. So if you're in the area, check that out. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll be there. Maybe I won't, but you'll be there. I'll be there. I'm going uh, next weekend. I'm going to Valcor um, to race there. So I'm excited about that. It's my first time at that track. Um, my goal was this year to do the four big tracks. I wanted to go to Eagle River, which yeah. got postponed. I wanted to do Boomville, which got postponed and uh, canceled actually. And now I'm going to, we did Eganville this weekend, then Valcor. So at some year, hopefully before I have my fifth grandchild, I'll be uh, looking to get in some four big tracks here. But uh, I, I'm having fun. I'm learning every time. And, uh, and it's great. Uh, you know passing the knowledge on for people that have taught me to helping out new racers like yourself because i love seeing when people grow at the same time with racing yeah and i mean what a what a great series to grow in i mean it's not you know really heavy on cost to get in you can no. do it you know on a reasonable budget and come out and have a lot of fun and just you know I look at, at at myself with the the drifter i mean the good thing is i got only one way to go i can't get any worse than this weekend it can only get better so i I've, I've enjoyed our time together and i'm not that far removed from being a beginner myself and can we really call it the drifter anymore or what what is the official name now well it's because i it's, i had named it but you renamed yeah it. I, na I renamed it snot a rocket you had it uh, what was your what was your nickname for it uh the grinch the grinch. the grinch um it was sparky before that for the previous owner yeah you know i looked at it it's green my my niece actually gave it the name snot a rocket because it's well, so done. slow so in uh with that snot a rocket again it may be it may get shortened to snot because it's green but I think snot is a good descriptor for anything that you want to describe the, that sled as. I mean, it's snot fast. It's snot very pretty. It's it's snot a nice color. It's snot working right now because after that race, I think I blew up the uh, the seals, the center crank seals. Yeah. It's uh, it barely ran to get back to the trailer. We tried to fire it up to get it in the trailer. It's not running. So but right now it's snot running. No. And it's definitely snot a rocket. But so. on the other hand, let's talk about all the things that you did get done. Out of your list oh. that you had, your huge list, you fixed your skis, you fixed your gas tank issues, yeah. you've got steering fixed up, um, you got your tunnel enclosure built. Yeah. You came a long way with that sled and you got to give yourself credit for that because you made you made the line and it, that's it, what you planned on doing. I, I, I made every green, so you did. I, I got to every grid, which, yep. which was a goal. Again, three DNFs, not so you know not so that wasn't on my goal list but i did get the one checkered and i mean it was just uh even though it was dead last and it was slow <laughs> and it's not a rocket i was super stoked to go and buy the checkered flag but think of the story now started here and where are you going to end up oh yeah overall great weekend and yeah. absolutely enjoyable if something like this is what you want to do just go out and do it you don't have to spend a bunch of money you will have a blast and there's plenty of folks that are in the OSOR like Turk here that will help guide you along your way and, and really make you feel part of the family when you come out to a race like uh, we've had here at the Bonnachere Cup in Eganville. And even, even if you don't know that you want to race, come out to a race as a spectator, come yeah. out to the pits, come and look around, come and talk to people and see what it is that you need to do to get out and race because that's where you'll get the fire going and once you see what racing is about, you'll want to be part of the OSOR as well. And maybe we'll do that again on a future episode of STV. So keep watching. Ooh. Love it, man. Abbott Costello is playing. Sorry I took the lead. I, I wanted mean, to no, ask No, I mean, question. like we got a new host for the show here. I, Suddenly I, I, you're looking at the camera, delivering advice to the folks at home. This is great. I'm, I'm thinking it's perfect.